even though I'm a big man, I'm a biker, and I look all tough, you know, we all have feelings. And I think that's where the emotion comes from and the rage and all that comes from within here. We had Hell's Angels around the house. Dad had a lot of biker friends. There was a lot of drugs. There was a lot of drinking, moonshine. Um, I was outside actually air burning, airbrushing a model car. And uh, one of the bikers said, that looks really cool. Man, I bet you could tattoo. Wow, be a tattoo artist at 13. So I started slinging ink on the Hells Angels when I was 13 years old. I got four kids and eight grandkids, and I'm only 39 years old. I talked to them today. They call me Big Papa. It feels good and it hurts at the same time because I'm not there to be for them. Addiction takes a lot of people in so many different roads. And I finally realized the addiction I have is to anything that makes me feel good. I've lost a kid. I lost Austin. Uh, his name's Austin Texas Cately. I lost him when I was 21 years old. Uh, on that, I went on to a rampage with my addiction. I did crystal meth, did heroin, did coke, did alcohol, anything I could. And I rode my Harley for miles, trying to run away from the pain of, of, of God taking my child. I can't be a sociable drinker. I can't be over there sitting, and it hurts me that I can't be over sitting there having a martini, laughing with my friends, and having a good time. Because I have an addiction to alcohol, and I can't stop at one drink. I got to keep drinking and drinking and drinking until I black out and become a stupid asshole and hurt the most people that I love around me. I'm just as human as you are, even though I ride a Harley, even though, you know, I turn the music up a little bit too loud, even though I do a little bit too many drugs or drill, I'm still just like you. I'm still just an ordinary person. I want people to remember me, not only for my size, but as a strong person up here.